Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking, love. Oh, love. That's more than morning sickness. You okay? Warren's ignoring my calls because he doesn't want to face it. I, I can't make a decision that's this big. What is going to happen to me and my baby? Do I need to get you some help? No, no one can help me. I've got cancer. I've got cervical cancer and the operation that they want to do straight away if I've got any chance for me. They want me to very real risk that I'll lose these two because I could miscarry or go into premature labour and they won't make it. What am I going to do, Myra? What kind of a choice is that? I mean, I was supposed to save myself. But then how can that be called alive if I haven't got my babies? My babies are gone and, and it's all my fault. Oh, God, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what to say. No, Sienna, you need to put yourself first. But you wouldn't. You do everything for your children. You put them first every waking minute. OK, and you and Joel and all the people that aren't faced with this, you just you don't know. But I do, I do know, because I've been through something, well, not exactly the same, but just, just hear me out. When I was carrying Carmina, I had to have an operation or else I'd be paralysed, and they said that I, I could lose her. And I talked to myself, just like you're doing. <laughs> but I had the operation. And, and look, look, look at us now. Or two. They could survive your treatment. But what if they didn't? What if they didn't? And what if they had to grow up without a mum? <laughs> She's so beautiful. And I am knackered most of the time, and I complain, but one smile. And it all comes back what it's all about. Your babies need you. I want to be a mum again more than anything I've ever wished for. Then you need to get well. By putting yourself first, you'll be putting your babies first. 